What's going on you guys? Welcome back to another uh, breaking episode of Mail Call, I guess. I know I made a very big deal about that last AJ Styles we got, but this one is an even bigger deal because in here we have the first ever Elite AJ Styles. Um, now, I am excited. However, I have seen pictures and it doesn't look as good as I thought it would be, but what makes me even more nervous is that I got the package. And it was open. Um, the mailman pulled me aside and said that they did not seal the package. So, essentially, it has been wide open. But let's hope that uh, it's in here and it is not repackaged or anything. I am so nervous. Here we go. And here he is. The figure itself. The phenomenal one, AJ Styles. The first ever Elite AJ and this is the first newer Elite that I've gotten in a long time. I still don't have anybody from 46. Uh, it does come with a diorama. We're going to, or whatever. We're going to take a closer look at this. I don't care. Because uh, I'm not a mock collector. So, oh my god. <laughs> this is weird. I mean, I've been waiting for an AJ Styles Elite since his TNA days. And now it's here. So, we're going to get this open. Take a closer look and see if uh, this is good. And here we have the AJ. And we're going to go ahead pull it out of its packaging. A lot of stuff fell out. I'm going to be honest, that diorama piece can wait. I'm not even going to pay attention to that right now because this is a, a big deal. Here we go. We've got the AJ. Let's go ahead and take him out of his packaging and see what the first ever Mattel AJ Styles Elite is going to be like. And uh, here we go. So making sure it is not broken because uh, that's always a worry with Mattel figures sometimes. Uh, we got a lot of talk about here. First things first, the accessory. He comes with his vest. Looking pretty nice. It's not cloth, but it is a soft rubber. So we're going to carefully try to remove it without breaking his arms. There you go. I mean, I think it is a unique mold, but I mean, it's not that special compared to, you know, some of the other vests we've gotten. Here we have the Elite AJ with the same head scan on the basic. I don't think there's much of a difference there. Uh, he does have his chest hair painted on, unlike the basic figure. I think it's even painted differently than like the Shawn Michaels style, which I really like, but he's got a Daniel Bryan torso with the AJ tattoo and the dates of when his children were born on his side. Getting into the first thing that I am a little worried about is the elbow pad. They, they didn't give him the right one. I don't think it's that big of a deal. The one that he usually wears has the open slit. Um... On this part, it's usually open. They do have a mold for that. I believe that came with the Bret Hart figure. So, you know, that's not that big of a deal. And for the casual figure collector, I'm not even sure they're going to notice that. But his gloves do have some painted on detail. It says AJ Styles on the wrist part. The inside design is not painted in. I don't even think that's big of a deal. Uh, that's a pretty crazy design. Taking a look at the tights. And the number one worry I have is that they did went ahead and use these really, really skinny legs. Um, and I actually don't know if these are the same mold as the Rollins and X-Pac, because those get loose really quickly, but he's got that belt design painted on in blue. He's got the white strap in the middle, and then it says, let's see, let's get a zoom in here. Let's, we can fix the thigh. It says Styles in blue and red, or blue and red, blue, white, and black. Then it says Phenomenal One on the left side, and then it says Phenomenal One across his boots and he is very small I will say this is a very small looking figure let's see if I can get a uh, figure for comparison here here we've got Lesnar and then here we've got AJ so he's pretty small looking but AJ is a short guy um, I mean I don't even know what to say I think it is really cool I haven't gotten a chance to really mess around with it I know I'm gonna put uh, knee pads on it because those are missing but it's, it's a lot better than I thought, I will say. I had a lot of worries about it. I am going to put the custom elbow pad on it and the knee pads and everything. So I definitely will show you guys that. But I just can't believe we're holding this AJ Styles. I mean, articulation is basically the same. You're going to get the same movement of, of every single elitist waist rotates, everything. The legs do actually go out a nice amount, especially for AJ. He's going to have to do those Pele kicks and everything. Uh... So yes, I will say this is way better than I thought it was going to be. I actually would have preferred a closed right fist for that phenomenal forearm. But, 
I still love it. Still gonna hold it close to my heart because uh, first ever AJ Lee. I, I know I've said that like 10 times, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the new elbow pad on it, put some knee pads on it, and I also have some other fix-ups that I wanna show you guys. Uh, like I said, my last mail call, so we're gonna go ahead and do that uh, right now. All right, so guys, here we have the fix-up complete with the new elbow pad, which I took off of my custom and the W Championship, also the knee pads. I think I'm gonna have to swap these knee pads out. They kinda do look a little bit big, because his legs are really, really tiny, so they kind of stick out a lot. I might have to swap on those smaller ones, but I definitely think it does make the figure look better. I think had they included the correct elbow pad and knee pads, I think a lot of people would like it, especially because before I even got this, I mean, I really had low expectations because I just didn't think it looked that good, but uh, definitely, definitely love it. Pretty crazy to think that we actually got one. Uh, I never thought it would happen, and we did, so there we go, especially for the success he's had this year. I hope we get a lot more Elite tires because he's worn some even cooler ones than this. I also have a couple fix-ups that I wanted to show you from the previous mail call. We got this fin. Um, I decided not to swap the fin, fin, fin knee pad just because I wanted to keep that basic... Uh, you know, so I care about it a little bit. I decided to keep that attire. However, when the ringside exclusive comes out, I'll probably end up swapping it. But this head scan's awesome. Definitely brings out the best in this uh, non-painted fin. And I also want to give a shout out to my friend Jesus from the draft yesterday. His channel will be linked in the description as well for making this beautiful Seth Rollins figure that he is willing to trade me. Uh, I am going to be swapping the torso as well as the head scans. So don't worry about that. But I traded my uh, uh, what was it the flashback Cena and the tights for this which I thought was a pretty good deal so definitely gonna be swapping a, a more ripped torso and then I want to give a shout out to uh, Steinsenberg's customs on Instagram or team rated CDS will be linked down below for this idea on this Shawn Michaels fix up with the elite 19 head scan on the new WrestleMania figure which I think looks way better than the ponytail head scan so shout out to him for giving me that idea and that's going to do it for this episode of Mail Call. I know it's another quick one, which I said I wasn't going to do anymore, but I really was not expecting this AJ right now. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Let me know what you think about this AJ and if you picked it up. And as always, stay tuned to the next one. <laughs>